Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is the North-South Divide. How? <laughs> the North-South Divide, yes. I, I believe we should build a wall and make it official. I do. Obviously, you know, Northerners can build it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, pay for it. <laughs> But it's all, it's all built on stereotypes. The assumptions are all... It's all built on stereotypes. Like, I, I have rel relatives in Grimsby who come to London and look for London to fulfil its stereotype. So they walk round going, oh, it's, a, it's so unfriendly, no-one chats to each other. And I say to them, why, why this constant need to chat? <laughs> in Grimsby. <laughs> I say to them, there was a little less chat and, and a bit more reading. <laughs> Grimsby could be a cultural and economic superpower, it really could. <laughs> the, the, the assumption is ridiculous, though. The, the, the assumption that everybody down south is rich is unfair. Like London, yes, very wealthy city. It's also got the biggest concentration of poverty in the UK, is in London. That's a fact. Not me, thank God. God, no. No, don't be silly. <laughs> no, 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 no. This goes tits up, mummy bails me out. But, uh... <laughs> See, maybe that's why I have, I, I've got a thing about this, because I am from a very middle-class southern family, and we are, we, I am a bit of a middle-class southern twat. You know, we're, we're one of those families that meet and everything is lovely. It's like, so like, how are you? Are you well? Yes, I'm lovely. Are you lovely? I'm lovely too. But we're not really lovely, we just, we can't do confrontation, the middle classes. That's why you never see us on the Jeremy Kyle show. Ever, do you? Ever. <laughs> She's sleeping with your best mate! Well, obviously, I'm not happy about it, Jeremy. <laughs> It'd be rubbish, wouldn't it? <laughs> They're having a baby. She stole money off you to buy drugs. She is a bit of a character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Hal. Well done. <laughs> now, we're left with Josh. Let's see what you have. Let's spin the wheel. <clears throat> the topic is the home. <coughs> Josh Whitcomb. Um, my, my flatmate um, is kind of filling our kitchen full of all the kind of pointless things my mum has in her home now. Is <laughs> we, I don't know if you've got... We've just got this tea bag saucer, the saucer for tea bags. <laughs> it's a very useful item. If you haven't got it, what it is, it's a saucer that you keep halfway between your kettle <laughs> and your bin. Basically, when you make a cup of tea and then you get the tea back, look across at the bin and go. <laughs> I mean, that's a journey, isn't it? I mean, that's three or four yards. I mean, I'm not I need a stop off. That's like driving to Leeds. I could die of time. Then you walk halfway, put your tea bag down, go back, pick up your cup of tea and walk past the bin and out the kitchen. <laughs> all we've done is created a kind of tea bag death row. That's all we've done. <laughs> We've got our tea bag sauce on our breakfast bar. If you haven't got a breakfast bar, what it is, it's an extra yard of sideboard. <laughs> and it's for eating your breakfast. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to eat your breakfast, but you think, bloody hell, it's too early for a table, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't handle one of them until lunchtime. I mean, <laughs> what I want is something slightly higher and less comfortable. That's what I'm looking for here. <laughs> There's one thing I don't want to eat at. It's 8 a.m. It's a bar. That is the reason I feel so shit in the first place. <laughs> Well done to both of you.